Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Game Halls. Now, last episode I mentioned right at the end that I'd been expecting a package and it hadn't arrived. Well, now it's arrived. In fact, it arrived the day after I'd uh, put that uh, video up. And it was a Master System Converter for the Mega Drive. Now, this is a bit of an oddity because I asked when I ordered it for an unboxed Master System Converter. They sent this with a sticker on it that said it was unboxed. It's boxed. Not only is it boxed, the manual is here, and so are all the inserts. I could not believe my luck with this. I mean, oh my goodness, it's so good. So, we're gonna have a look at the master system converter in a second when I put all this back together. Put it here. Really nice condition. A little bit uh, dusty, but uh, I had no problem with that because you can always clean it up. Excellent condition. Works perfectly. I've been playing it all weekend and it's uh, very, very nice. So while I was uh, ordering that, I also ordered a copy of Transport. Now I've seen this around a lot. I was wanting to get the card version, but I couldn't find a copy of that for less than quite a bit of money. So I've got a, uh, a box for copy with the without the manual. I can pick the manual up at some other point. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. I think it's going to be a fun game. I already know that it's about a robot that can transform into some kind of jet. And it's, it's like a sideways shooter, so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. But it's not the only one that I picked up, because today Jen uh, saw this in CEX and said, I really want to play Choplifter, because she's played it before, so she wanted to play it. So we got a copy of, unboxed copy of Choplifter, which I'm very happy about. And, to top it off, an unboxed copy of eSWAT. So the Master System collection is coming together quite nicely. I'm looking forward to playing that. I don't really... I don't really know what the Master System version's like, but I have played the Mega Drive version on the uh, Sega Mega Drive Classics that's on Xbox One. So, it'd be nice to have a comparison of the two, but they're not the only game. So we have three here for the Master System, which is a decent start to a Master System collection. But if you remember, if you've watched uh, previous episodes... Well, guys, that was a bit of an oddity, wasn't it? Uh, the uh, camera just shut down. I think uh, low battery. I should have really listened to it when it said low battery. But what I was saying is, if you've seen previous episodes of the game hall, then you'll know that we have in the past found some other Master System games. Rescued these from a charity shop where they were just there on their own with uh, without uh, a Master System to uh, keep them company. So... We had to rescue it. So we also have, for the set, to create a, a nice little uh, Master System set, Super Tennis. Now this is actually a decent enough game. And uh, I found that uh, once you get into it, it's not bad. It's difficult to work out positions on screen relative to the ball. So when uh, the uh, opponent uh, smacks the ball at you, it can be quite tricky. Serving is a little tricky as well, but I, as I was playing it, I could feel that I was starting to get the surf. So maybe we'll end up with it all right with that one. So it's not a bad game. I kind of enjoyed it. One that is a little bit uh, dull, to be honest with you, it could have been better, is uh, G-Lock. But uh, it's just one of those things. It's a, it's a combat flight simulator, but it's a very arcadey combat flight simulator. And I don't think it's got quite enough going for it to really to really get into it. It's another one that I think I'm going to have to play a while to just to get the, the feel for what it's actually trying to do and then we'll be able to see whether it's good or not. But uh, let's keep moving because we also picked up World Grand Prix back then and this is a lot of fun. It's very arcadey. It doesn't feel like... Uh, I haven't managed to find a, uh, like a championship mode or anything like that. It just feels like uh, you have three uh, different uh, courses you can try and race on and that's about it. I do enjoy it when I play it, so I'm going to look into it more and see what uh, what's what with it. But yeah, it's a pick-up-and-play quick racer. It's not bad. Final one is a side-scrolling shooter, Global Defense. This is a weird one. It's like a side-scrolling shooter, and then it switches to a version of Missile Command, essentially. But it's actually pretty good. I, enjoyed, I do enjoy playing this one, and uh, as you can see, it's not in the best condition. This is one of the reasons why I felt we had to pick these games up when I saw them in the charity shop because they were going to get further damaged if we didn't. So I'm glad I picked them up and uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. That game is uh, good. But it's not the only thing that we've got for this pickups thing because uh, Patrick Furlong, uh, who's a, a, a big player in the Amstrad CPC community, pointed me to a guy selling new old stock 
of Cheat Mode 2. Now, if uh, you know anything about the old magazines for the 8-bit computers, you know that a large section of the magazine, or at least a popular section, will be given over to how to get infinite lives and uh, stuff like that by essentially writing a small program to load a game with a few changes to its memory. And that's what this does. It gives you a load of uh, collected uh, cheats and also a few maps here and there. See if I can find one. There's a map to uh, Fire Lord. So it's got a load of stuff like this. It's really great stuff. It's collecting uh, a load of stuff from the magazine itself, plus a few bits that were unpublished. So it's well worth actually having. And I've wanted this since I was a kid. Because I wasn't that I wasn't the best gamer. Anyone who's seen my live streams, which by the way I'm doing uh, Tuesday to Saturday, uh, live streaming, playing some games, just uh, stuff that maybe we wouldn't get round to that uh, all that quickly on a game home, a proper game home, which will still be going on. We're doing live streams of that and uh, just playing the games and having fun, having a chat, and hanging out basically uh, with a few friends on the internet. That's what we're doing uh, Tuesday to Saturday, and then Sundays we're doing live game coding. But uh, well, you can tell from those live streams that I'm not the best gamer in the world. So some, uh, when I was a kid, cheat mode was something that I really looked uh, looked forward to because maybe it would give me the infinite life so I could practice the game. That's how I see it anyway. But that's not all. Because uh, I've also been around the charity shops and it's been slim pickings. I'll tell you that straight off. So we found a Disney Print Studio for 101 Dalmatians. <sighs> it's basically... You can make your own uh, invitations, birthday cards, calendars, with a 101 Dalmatians theme. It was just sat there uh, looking a bit forlorn. So I had to add that to the collection because I like these weird uh, esoteric things that most, most people would overlook. The similar uh, thing, we've got uh, the Time Warp, Time Warp of Dr. Brain. Now this is a set of mini-games, essentially. Uh, surrounding a uh, thing of uh, Dr. Brain has done it again. This time, as a result of one of his top secret experiments, he's become trapped in the space-time discontinuum. He needs your brain power to bring him back home by solving hundreds of puzzles in ten different time periods, tracing human evolution. It's uh, the basically... As a framing device, you've got to rescue this Dr. Brain who's trapped, but it's actually just ten different mini-games. So... I'm looking forward to giving this a try, seeing if it will work. It's old enough that it should, because it's talking about Windows 3.1 and Windows 95, so that should work perfectly well on Wine as an emulator. So we'll see how it goes. But it's not the only thing, because I've found, still sealed, a Darling Kindersley... Is that what it is? Uh, DK... Yeah, Darling Kindersley DK Multimedia Dinosaur Hunter. This is... a claims to be virtual reality, but yeah, it's not. It's uh, pitch your wits against the past and search for buried bones to bring dinosaurs back to life. It's just like a... It's a Windows uh, 3.1 on 95 multimedia thing. You know, those old multimedia oddities. <laughs> so it's still sealed. I had to pick it up. Like I said, with the, uh, the um, 101 Dalmatians thing, these are things that most people would overlook, but I want to build a museum, so we need the weird stuff for the collection in the museum, and that's what uh, brings me to pick up them. Speaking of uh, picking up things most people would overlook, I've picked up a copy of um, the demo disc number 44 from March 2004 for official PlayStation 2 magazine. Why would I want this? Well, sometimes the demos are different to what the fully released game was. Not always, and in fact, in most cases they aren't, but on occasions there might be. But the main reason I've picked this up is what they call their download section. So what have we got here? The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, everything unlocked. Uh, I pretty much got that on Xbox anyway because I played the game so much. But SSX3, all levels unlocked for Zoe. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, seriously, the, the character in the game. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, finished game save. Plus, new map for Time Splitters 2. I don't think you can get that anywhere else. Brand new level based on the official PlayStation 2 office. So, we've got a playable map that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get. And that's why I look for these... Uh, Things when they're at the right price, I'm, like, I'm not paying two quid for a demo disc, but uh, when it's at the right price, yeah, I'll pick that up because it's got those little extras on that otherwise you would miss out on. And uh, I am going for a complete PlayStation 2 set, so I want to see those things. 
Finally, we've got a couple of others. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Not something that I would normally go for, especially since I've actually already picked it up once. But this is in much better condition. The disc isn't scratched, the manual's in better condition, so I've actually just upgraded. And for like 30p, I'm not going to uh, complain. But the other one is Medal of Honor. Now, this is one I've had my eye on for a while, but uh, it's all here in great condition. And apparently it's a good game, so I'm looking forward to giving that a try. I do like my first-person shooters, so I'm going to go off and play that now. That is all we've got. It's slim pickings, I know. Oh, hang on, it's not all we've got. I forgot the main thing, aside from the Mega Drive, the Master System Converter. Tiger Electronics Game Ball Baseball. Late Tiger Electronics product, this one, from not long before Hasbro discontinued the brand. And it works. So, it's it's hard to play. I'm not really sure what's going on, that's similar to most Tiger products. But it's all here. It's still sealed in the box. So, it's a nice museum piece. That might worry me eventually. I may have to try and break into this because there is a battery in it. And that worries me a little bit, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But uh, for the most part, it's all here, very nicely packaged, and uh, I like it. So for £1.50, when I uh, saw that in a, in a charity shop, I thought, yeah, we've got to have that. But anyway, that is literally all we've got this time. It's, it, it is slim pickings, but, you know, after the glut that we had uh, when people were throwing stuff away for clearing out space for Christmas and then clearing out for the new year, you expect expected to trail off a little bit. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. And if you have, remember to click that like button, share it with your friends so that they know some good stuff that would, uh, is out there. And do subscribe for new videos because there will be more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Cook Robinson. You've been watching a game's pickup video on the Game Hammer channel. And I'll see you later.